My name is Gina Noy. Today I'm going to talk about transitioning from an employee to an entrepreneur from a past point of view. And it's not as scary as you might think. This subject is very dear and near to my heart. Um, uh, excuse me. <laughs> this is very dear to my heart. After working for 10 years in companies like PwC, Blackstone, and St. 2, I just made that transition. I started my own CPA firm, and I've been having a blast ever since. I've also helped many of my clients make the transition as well. Entrepreneurship is great, it's exciting. It offers a lot of challenges and rewards in everything, including tax. And we'll talk about some of those things today. Think different. You're here because you think different, and you have to start thinking different from um, from a tax point of view. And it's no longer going to be taken care of for you as an employee. If you are self-employed, you have to think about Social Security and Medicare. That is 15.3%. When you're an employee, the company pays half of the tax. The other one is withheld from you. When you're an entrepreneur, you have to pay the tax yourself, and it's a lot. For example, for every $100 that your business earns, $65 is take home, $35 is in tax. That is a lot of money. You also have to start thinking about taxes as a quarterly event versus once a year passive activity. You want to avoid those quarterly taxes will help you avoid those penalty interest and uh, penalties to the IRS. One of the things that I think somebody else mentioned is incorporation. If you are interested in raising funds, attracting partners, um, raising capital, then you have to set up a corporation, an LLC, or an S1. If neither of those things are important to you, then I'll operate a sole provider. No, that does not make sense. It's still self-employment tax. Mm -hmm. On the left, you have sole proprietor paying fifteen thousand. On the right, you have an S corp shareholder drawing a reasonable salary and paying half the tax. Deductions are your best friend when you want to lower that tax. Some uncommon uh, deductions are health insurance that are often overlooked and health uh, savings account. Uh, there are some more. Common deductions that will be specific to your business. I get a lot of questions about travel, meals, and entertainment. Those are great deductions to take. If they're for your business and you keep good records, I highly recommend it. For example, the cost for this is deductible. <laughs> if you work from home and you can dedicate space exclusively for that purpose, then percentage of your rent, utilities, your insurance may be deductible. You know, you have to evaluate all the ups and downs. As your business grows, consider hiring a family member as a way to shift income. Your family member gets an extra way to earn money, and your business gets a deduction. It's a win-win for everyone. You also should start thinking about a retirement plan. When you are an employee, your company may have made it easy for you to put away money for retirement. When you're an entrepreneur, it's all on your shoulders, it's your responsibility. But there are more options and you can put away more. So there are advantages. Bookkeeping, it's a must. As you're earning revenue, your current expenses, you have to report it. It's, it's very important and when you're valuing your company, when you're pricing your goods, and at tax time. Do you even know what to charge for your goods and services? Should you be charging more? Should you be charging less? You can only analyze that if you know what your expenses are or what your overhead should be. And if you also know whether you're targeting the right clients. Uh, also, make sure that you keep your business and your personal expenses separate. The IRS likes to come in and reclassify your business deductions as personal. In case your business is ever sued and your finances are commingled, the courts may pierce the corporate veil. It's not a good answer. Um, taxes are, are often an afterthought, but they do have a large impact on your bottom line. Um, for the, the revenue that your business earns, you work really hard. So I, I encourage everybody to do a little tax planning, a little thought, your bottom line will be much more happier. Uh, I love talking about tax. 
I could have a text all day. And my name is Gina, and I'll be around a breakout session. We'll talk about some of the discussions that I mentioned today really quickly, um, and about some other topics that we might have. Thank you.